hindi mo na maisip Ang iyong sarili kasi gusto mo palagi mag-ipon ng pang-uwi Pasalubong sa pamilya, sa kaibigan, sa barkada Kahit sa iyo wala na kasi doon ka masaya Di ka pwede na sumuko, hindi pwedeng umayaw Pwede kang sumuka, magutom, mauhaw Pwede ka na masaktan, pwede ka na umaray Pero hindi po pwede uminto sa paglakbay
Rồi năm mình giúp Good afternoon everyone Good afternoon po, Sir Vice Admiral Robert M. Pedrad, our administrator in the Maritime, Admin Maritime Industry Authority. Sa lahat po ng committee na bumubuo po ng um, National Maritime Week. We also have here our Deputy Administrator for Operations. Good afternoon po, Ma'am Net Dinopol. And to all those who are attending to us this event, this program through live streaming and Zoom. Welcome to another segment of the virtual events conducted by the Maritime Industry Authority in celebration of the National Maritime Week 2020. In this portion of the week-long program, we will be delivering to you the Osapang STCW Forum. I am Herbert, one of the senior staff of Marina Central Office, and I will be one of the moderators for this forum. My fellow moderator, who is joining us from Marina Regional Office 4 in Batangas via Zoom, Dr. Jinky Mendoza. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy National Maritime Week to all our viewers and listeners. Thank you for tuning in in this virtual Usapong STCW. As you know, the STCW Forum is a regular program of our Public Information Division of Marina since 2015. It is uh, usually held several times each year in strategic venues throughout the Philippines, specifically uh, in places where or regions where there are many seafarers. We have conducted this uh, forum in schools which offer the BSMT and BS Marine programs and in our regional offices, in hotels, 
in malls and sometimes in the premises of requesting mining agencies. But due to the pandemic, we are now broadcasting live via FB app. And we are happy because even we are distant from one another, uh, we are happy with this technology and new normal of conducting events, we are able to reach more seafarers and of course, our interested maritime stakeholders. Then after this live broadcast, this segment will be posted po sa ating Marina FB page so that it can be, be, it can be viewed later by those who won't be able to join us. H? Tama po, Dr. Jinky. In the past, we, when we conducted the STCW forum, the largest attendance in one occasion would be just 100 to 200 depending on the venue. But today, with the aid of social media and meeting applications, mas marami po tayong uh, maaaring makasubaybay o makapakinig. And later po, pwede nilang ma-view sa ating Facebook yung usapang STCW. Nabanggit po kanina ni Dr. Jinky na ang STCW Forum ay isang regular na programa ng Marina since 2015. We have conducted 61 usapang STCW in where we provided updates on issuances and measures to implement the STCW Convention in the Philippines. The forum also served as an avenue for our stakeholders to clarify issues and concerns as well as communicate to us their feedback and suggestions to the Maritime Administration. And this afternoon, we prepared to discuss two special concerns that relate to the seafaring sector. Ang inihanda po natin ay batay sa mga natanggap po nating feedback. We reviewed the frequently asked questions we received over the community quarantine period and we decided to discuss in this STCW forums two concerns na talaga namang napapanahon, lalo na at nasa gitna pa din tayo ng pandemya. Batay po sa aming pag-aaral, nakita po namin na kailangan at mahalagang talakayin natin muli ang tungkol sa mga requirements in applying assessment of competence. At ang isa po, concerning sa extension ng mga validity ng STCW certificates. Now, in the interest of time and orderliness, please allow me to read some um, house rules for this forum. Number one, we will let the two presenters finish first their lecture before we will entertain questions. Please switch your, silo, uh, your microphones off in order to minimize any interruptions to the presenters. For those who ask in the Zoom meeting, you may raise your question through the chat box sa gitna po sa babang panel ng ating Zoom. While those who are tuned in via the FB Live, you may write your questions in the comments section. When writing questions, please indicate the affiliation and to whom the question is directed. For example, question for the first presenter or to the second presenter about the certification. We would be entertaining questions until 2 or 2.50 uh, uh, only to give for the next segment of the celebration. And without further ado, now we proceed with the STCW proper. Ma'am Jinky? Yes, Ish, thank you. So without further ado, let's introduce our first presenter. Our first presenter is coming from the Examination and Assessment Division of the STCW Office. He will be discussing some recommendations to lessen the rejected documentary evidence submitted in applying for theoretical examinations and practical assessment of seafarers' competence. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Smith Cardota Jr. Good afternoon. I'm Smith G. Carlotta Jr. from Examination and Assessment Division of the SCCW Office. I am here to present to you the instructional guide for uploading the commonly rejected documentary requirements. So, consider this as our guide to help our seafarers on how to upload the requirements in applying for theoretical examination and or practical assessment into your MISMO account 
correctly, thus avoiding the rejection. These are the needed requirements. Certificate of Sea Service, your Siemens book or the SIRB or SRB, the Certificate of Proficiencies or the COPs, the Transcript of Records or your TOR, Certificate of Passing the Theoretical Exam and or Practical Assessment, the Medical Certificate, OIC Updating Part A and or Part B, and your profile picture. So, here we go for our tips on uploading. First, the company C-Service Certificate. Upload your C-Service Certificate with a required and approved C-Going service, whether it's 6 months, 12 months, or 18 months. Make sure that the company logo or header is clearly uploaded and also, it should be signed as well by the authorized company signatory. It should also show the other important details of your sea service, like your full name, the name of the ship or the vessel, the GRT or gross tonnage, or the kilowatts propor proportion, your rank, date of embarkation, and the date of disembarkation. Second, the Siemens book or the SIRB or SRB. Kindly take note that your uploaded certificate of sea service should always coincide with the entries that you will be uploading as regards the process of your Siemens book. And upload them in order of sea service starting from those previous ones up to present. Don't forget to start with the front page yeah, and by pages with entries of approved seagoing service. Kung international naman po ang sakay nyo, always include in your uploading the POEA stamps as this will further attest your specific rank kung saan kayo sumakay ng barko. Also, if there are some typographical errors on dates with regards to any embarkation or disembarkation, which sometimes happens, lalo na kung nakalimutan minsan na lagyan ni Captain for some reasons, then we strongly advise din po to include in your uploading yung mga pages with immigration stamp which can always be found at the back of your Siemens book. Now, let us proceed to your COPs as one of the requirements in applying for theoretical exam, which are BT or the basic training, SCRB or the survivor craft and rescue boat, AFF or the advanced firefighting, MEFA or the medical first aid, and MECA or the medical care, which is only applicable for management level deck officers. As for those who are applying for ABLE DEC, an ABLE engine, which is 2 slash 5 and 3 slash 5, respectively, having a COP of your 2 slash 4 and 3 slash 4 as applicable is a must, together with the COP of your SCRB or survival craft and rescue boat. However, uploading of such may no longer required as, as these can be verified in the system, but make sure you have the COPs of 2 slash 4 or the 3 slash 4 and even the SCRB. Otherwise, your application will not be granted. Now, let's go to your transcript of records or your TOR. This is mandatory. If you are applying for deck operational level, and gene operational level, and in some cases, to management level as well, but only if you are applying from operational to management. Make sure to upload all pages of your TOR. 
be mindful of not uploading them, showing crop pages, and always, always include the name of the school down to the signatories of the authorized signatory of your respective school. Now, let us proceed to certificate of passing the theoretical examination. Take note, if you pass the Marina Board Exam System or MBE, or mostly known as the old system, then you are required to upload it into your MISMO account. But if you pass under the Marina Competency Assessment System, which is also called MCAS and commonly known as the new system, then it is not required to be uploaded because it is us, the Marina, who will upload it into your respective MISMO accounts. But if you are applying for GMDSS theoretical exam, then you are required to pass the practical assessment for DEC operational level prior to applying the THEO exam for GOC or GMDSS. We're almost here, we're almost there, so let's go to your medical certificate. Remember, it should be in PEME format or yung tinatawag nating pre-employment medical certificate. Dapat po hindi siya expired. And please, make sure na ito po ay may, sig may signature ninyo. Kayo po, our dear seafarers. Now, let us proceed to the one of the most important requirements which is the OIC updating part A and or part B. Kindly take note that if you started your academic year as Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation and or Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering from 2012 and below, then you should have the part A and the part B only if you are applying for operational level. But if you are also applying from operational level to management level and started your academic year from 2012 and below, this time you must have the OIC updating part B, meaning you are exempted in taking the OIC updating part A and or part B only if you started your academic year from 2013 up to present as these said trainings are already embedded in your curriculum. Lastly, your MISMO profile picture. It should be in passport size with a white background, no need for a name tag, but please, Wear a white polo shirt together with your current rank shoulder board, but only if you're applying as an officer. So, what are the things we need to consider in general? You should know beforehand what exactly are you applying for. Upload it clearly. And please, be mindful in uploading each document on its respective tab. And remember, dun po sa mga requirements na may asterisk, mandatory po siya. Kapag wala naman pong asterisk na nakalagay, kindly take time to read because it has conditions that are clearly stated naman po. Double check the uploaded documents before hitting the submit button. And lastly, if you have queries via email, it would be appreciated to provide us the specific details so we can troubleshoot your concern as fast and as clearly as we can. That would be all for the presentation of the Examination and Assessment Division. Thank you for listening, and it's our pleasure to be of service. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for that uh, very informative and uh, for those recommendations that we have given to all our CPAers who will be applying for assessment of competence on how they can be assured 
that the documentary requirements that they upload in the MESIMO system won't be rejected. And of course, it will lessen the trouble in re-uploading another document. Uh, by the way, for those who are tuned in this live broadcast call, who may have questions and clarifications, you may raise your questions if you are in the Zoom room. And for those who are tuned in for uh, in a FB, FB page or FB live, you may write your questions in the comment section box and we will try to answer them as much in a while. For now, let's move on on the next presentation which will cover concerns on STCW certification updates. And this updates will be delivered by none other than the Chief of the Certification Division, Mr. Galileo Garcia. Mr. Gali? Yes, magandang hapon po, Ma'am Jinky, at saka sa ating uh, tagapanood tagapano dito sa usapang STCW. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Ang inyong lingkod po, si Gali Garcia, ang Chief ng Certification Division, STCW. Today, we will be giving you the STCW updates, especially concerning certification of our Filipino seafarers. Before I proceed, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Administrator, Vice Admiral Robert Empedrad, as well as the Office of the uh, Deputy and Executive Director of the SCCW for endorsing and approval of the recently approved Marina Advisory 2020-73. This is to answer the plight of our Bagong Bayani in this time of crisis. To start with, I'd like to direct you to the uh, new advisory, the Marina Advisory 2020-73. The extension and revalidation of STCW certificates as a temporary contingency measure amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. I would like to highlight uh, the specifics of Marina Advisory. This is uh, on the third paragraph. Therefore, notice is hereby given that all STCW certificates issued by the Marina, which are expiring between 13 March 2020 to 31 December 2020, dates inclusive, shall be extended for a period of one year so, from the date of expiry. Uh, of the we have to, to again um, assess the uh, capability of our contestants, two contestants to answer the question. Would it be? Hello. Shall be extended for a period of one year from the date of expiry of the certificate without need to file for an application at the marina. This applies to all STCW certificates of all Filipino seafarers who are both on board or ashore at the time of the expiry of the certificates. First, the concerned license mining agency and shipping companies are required to ensure that their crew are compliant with the above mentioned SCCW requirements and are hereby directed to submit to Marina the list of crew members whose validity of STCW certificates have been extended or so on to this advisory. Therefore, they are tasked that an electronic copy of the said information shall be submitted via email at certificate underscore extension at mail.marina.gov.ph following the attached template in Annex A. Now for the revalidation and expedite processing. Number one, all applications for revalidations of certificates of seafarers who are affected by the suspension and or unavailability of trainings, assessments, even where the COP and COC have expired or expiring within the period 13 March 2020 to 31 October 2020 will still be processed as revalidation and be given five years validity from the date of issuance 
subject to the compliance of complete documentary requirements. Second, applications for revalidation of STCW certificates without the required refresher trainings and or practical assessment of competence shall be affected or accepted and processed online. COP and COC revalidated pursuant to this advisory shall have a validity period of one year only from the date of issuance subject to the following. Item 2.1. Only seafarers who are scheduled for deployment within 10 days or 10 calendar days from the date of applications are qualified under this advisory and has completed the seagoing service for, for a period of at least 12 months in total during the last five years prior to revalidation or three months in total during the last six months immediately prior to revalidating. 2.2, COP and tanker courses shall be accepted for revalidation even if expired, provided the applicant CPRs has completed approved seagoing service. Performing the duties appropriate to the tanker certificate held for a period of at least three months in total during the last or the during the preceding five years. 2.3. CPRs applying for revalidation of COP and COC shall meet the standards of medical fitness specified in section A I slash nine of the STCW code and a valid medical certificate from a DOH accredited medical clinic shall be submitted and encoded in the MISMO system. Third, applications under this advisory shall be filed or expedited processing through a licensed officer of concerned license manning agency or shipping company. Dr. requirements for this expedited application shall be uploaded in the MISMO system as follows. Under this, the letter from the concerned license mining agency duly signed by authorized official requesting for expedited processing of application of eight seafarers. And number two, a POEA approved employment contract. Further, this advisory says all seafarers are encouraged to apply for revalidation of the certi certificate of competency and COP after completing the online or offline courses as applicable to their certificate to be revalidated. In which case, the five-year validity date shall be reckoned from the original expiration date of the previous certificate. Furthermore, the provisions of Marina Advisory numbers 2020, the 63, and 2020, the 66, series of 2020, and all other issuances which are contrary to this advisory are hereby rescinded. This advisory shall take effect immediately and shall be valid until 31 December 2020, unless sooner revoked or a separate advisory was issued extending the validity of the advisory. Let me show you the attachment which will require the shipping or crewing company to submit online. You will see the difference or the uh, the content of the uh, letter which will be submitted to the marina. Next will be the uh, matrix that will show you how uh, 20, 20, 73 is applied. Yes, here it is for regular or expedite on board, which will cover five years if uh, the documentary requirements are complete. This will cover seafarers with expired certificates from March 13 to October 31, 2020. As provided under the advisory, this will cover the COP and COC 12 months coverage with 12 months within the last five years or three months within the last six months. Under this, it will also cover the expedite or those people uh, intended to go on board, which will be issued one year validity. Likewise, those on board 
expedite and assure, which will be also given a one year validity. Let me remind the crewing companies of the Annex A, which states that crewing companies are required to submit the list of crew members whose validity of STCW certificates have been extended under this advisory. Electronic copies of information shall be emailed to certificate underscore extension at mail.marina.gov.ph. That ends the presentation of the certification division on the STCW updates. Maraming salamat po. Maraming kong salamat, uh, Sir Gani, for sharing updates on the STCW certification. Now we have come to the interactive part of the webinar. And for, for those who are here in the Zoom room, at awagin po namin kayo, personally, you may raise your hands po para po naman doon sa nasa FB Live natin. We will be reading po your comments doon po sa comment section. By the way, in this question and answer portion, together with Sir Gary Garcia and Smith, we will also be joined by Ms. Madeline Joanna Galve, Officer in Charge of the Examination and Assessment Division, and of course, the Officer in Charge of the Public Information Division of STCW Office Marina, Ms. Josephine Castillo. So para po sa ating uh, unang katanungan, nais ko pong tawagan ng ating pong Representative from the Marina World, we have Ms. Lee Bakay. Ma'am Lee? Ma'am Lee? Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yes, good afternoon. Uh, mamaya na po ako magtatanong. <laughs> Happy Maritime Week sa lahat. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Ma'am Jinky. While um, those in the Zoom room are composing the questions, we have gathered some questions for from um, extended to us by the PID. Uh, ipinadala po ito sa ating PID for the second presenter po kay Sir Gali. Ang nagtatanong po ay isang seafarer. Ang pangalan po niya ay Sir J.M. Herras. Ang tanong po niya, dalawa po ito. Ito po muna yung una. Extended po ang validity ng March to June expired na STCW certificates and also September Hello? to October as per advisory 2020-66. Um, Paano po yung June to August kung doon po yung time na nag-expire at naipit po ako sa area na walang training center at walang travel because in Bohon. Sorry po, uh, reading verbatim po yung question. Sir Gali? Yes, maraming salamat Sir Herbert at saka sa ating uh, panauhin si Mr. Yeras. Uh, nagpapasalamat kami kay Administrator tungkol dito sa Marina Advisory 7, uh, 2020-73. Uh, matutugunan po ang uh, problema ng ating mga seafarers, lalo na yung mga naipit sa pandemya na hindi sakop ng original advisory. Nag, uh, Nagagumpisa noong uh, March 13 at na hinto noong 30 June. So dito po sa advisory ito, masasakop na po nito kahit na expired po bago sila nag-apply o hindi sila nakakuha ng Refresher, may kanya-kanya po silang requirement. Uh, ang coverage po nito ay uh, 13 March hanggang October 2020. Kung kahit na po sila ay uh, merong expired na COP, pero nakakuha naman sila ng uh, refresher after na originally ay kukuha sana sila ng uh, full course, ay pwede po silang bigyan ng 5 years pagka pasok sila sa requirement ng sakay. Kung hindi naman po sila nakakuha ng refresher, pero sasakay naman sila at meron naman silang sakay, pwede silang bigyan ng hanggang one year extension lang. Yun po ang, mag, ang sasagot sa kanila pong katanungan. Pero 
I would like to make it clear na kung meron silang refresher kahit na nag-expire yung COP, upon application nila sa period na ito na binigay, they can be given five-year full revalidation form. Klaro po, Sir Gali. Thank you po ulit. At uh, we are again extending our gratitude and thank you to the current administrator, Vice Admiral Robert M. Pedran, for signing that especially important advisory kasi po talagang kailangan-kailangan ng mga seafarer po natin ito. That is upon the endorsement, of course, of our um, Deputy Administrator for Operations who is working double time for, as she is also serving the OIC for the Executive Director's Office ng STCW office po. Salamat po sa endorsement. Kailangan, kailangan po ito ng seafarers natin. Now, I'm going back po kay Sir Gali because there, may pangalawang question pa po si Sir Heras at tungkol din po ito sa certificates po. Ang tanong po niya, as per advisory 2020-66, all certificates of seafarers extended either ashore or on board as per third paragraph. On the last paragraph po, need ng letter from LMA. Ang nature po ng employment ng seaman terminates without responsibility pagkatapos ng contract. Papaano po kung si seaman ay wala ng LMA existing on the time of expiry? Ano po ang gagawin niya? Yun po ang katanungan muli po kay Sir Gali po. Uh, can you kindly repeat the question Sir Herbert? Pakiulit lang po yung ano, yung tanong. Apo. Ang sabi po niya as per advisory 2020-66 all certificates of all seafarers extended extended either ashore or on board. Third paragraph. On the last paragraph, kailangan ng letter from License Manning Agencies. Ang nature po ng employment ng seaman terminates without responsibility pagkatapos ng contract. Papaano kung si seaman ay wala ng LMA existing on the time of expiry? Ano po ang gagawin niya? Ah, maraming salamat po sa katanungan. Although it's a... Uh... Isolated case siguro kung mangyari kasi karamihan ng coverage ng 2066 ay yung currently on board or ashore ay eh may responsibility po ang ating mga crewing company or shipping to inform the marina of the case sa seafarer na bababa o hihinto ang kontrata. So maglalagay po tayo ng mechanism para ma-validate po natin ang kanyang uh, sakay at tingnan natin ang possibility kung makoconsider po siya sa kanyang uh, application. Kasi dito po sa 2066 ay nasa requirement po ng crewing company na sila po ay magsumite ng mga kanilang listahan sa mga seafarers na sa onboard at saka ashore. Ibig sabihin during the time valid po ang contract nila. We will validate yung mga submission ng mga crewing company dito sa email natin na ating binubuo at hopefully we will be able to answer yung plight ng uh, mga ganyang klaseng katanungan po or sitwasyon. Maraming salamat po Sir Gali. Um, meron po tayong um, ni-raise na question po. Um, nasa sumurong po yata siya. Um, guided by our um, Division Chief of the Public Information Division, may we recognize Sir Mer Melvin Casanova? Nasa sumurong po kayo? Yes po. Yes po. Good afternoon. Uh, Melvin Casanova po. Uh, in engaged po from uh, Senator Cruwing Manila and currently teaching sa LPU Batangas. Salamat po. Go ahead sir for the question po. May may question po ako kasi last year I am uh, teaching at training centers in Manila of uh, PSCRB and BT. And mag expire yung mga certificate ko by next year, May 
Ang uh, tanong ko po is, uh, posible po ba na ma-revalidate na lang siya given na uh, tinuturo ko siya sa mga training centers? Hello po, Sir Herbert. Sino po ang sasagot sa atin? Uh, sa certification division po sana, kung makakasagot yung certification division. If I may re uh, rephrase po yung question ni Sir Melvin Casanova po, parang ang tinatanong po niya, Sir, um, mag-expire po yung kanyang mga COP on ancillary proficiencies as a seafarer, pero ang tanong po niya, dahil sa itinuturo po niya itong mga kursong ito, yung mga uh, training courses ng uh, binanggit po niyang COP, would that be uh, accepted in lieu of the requirements for revalidation of certain COPs and ciliaries po? Uh, thank you for that uh, concern, Mr. Casanova. Uh, we will uh, revisit the uh, advisories or circulars covering yung mga renewal for equivalent or equivalency na mga CFRs natin na nagtuturo. Uh, nung ako po ay nasa accreditation division, natandaan ko po meron tayong kinoconsider na equivalency para mabigyan ng uh, revalidation ang uh, mga CFRs, officers na nagtuturo at uh, i-revalidate ang kanila pong mga COC or COP, kung ganun po. Uh, we will revisit the uh, advisory kung uh, applicable pa ba yan ngayon. And uh, we will uh, confer the matter also to the accreditation division. Maraming salamat po. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you po. May additional question po ako about sa revalidation. Is there any chance, o, kasi hindi po ako sure, uh, bala ko pong i-renew yung iba kong certificate or iba kong COP na hindi ko tinuturo naman kasi bala ko siyang i-renew mga one year before. Kasi po parang practice sa kumpanya namin na uh, if your certificate is expiring one year before, i-renew mo na yan bago ka sumampa. Uh, sa up, up and renewing po niya, considering na hindi pa po siya expired, ped, uh, effective pa rin po ba doon yung revalidation? Or I have to do a retraining for that. Sa situation nyo po kasi sir, uh, titingnan natin yung basis ng uh, revalidation ng mga specific certificates. Kasi may nakalagay doon, meron kang sakay na 12 months during the last 5 years or during recently yung 3 months within the last 6 months. Yun po ang mga isa sa mga requirements natin. Pero connected po ito sa issue na sinasabi nyo, nagturo kayo, maring hindi kayo pasok doon, pero yun nga, uh, we will revisit the advisory or the circular uh, concerning your equivalency para dito po natin masagot. Kasi alam ko, uh, we have so many instructors na they're doing good sa training and assessment centers, but they are not uh, being on board for the last three or five years. We will... Uh, we will be uh, seeking uh, guidance sa uh, executive office ng uh, executive director's office at saka sa admin, administrator natin tungkol dito to consider possibly the uh, amendment or uh, uh, correction of uh, some uh, miss uh, or important points regarding your concern. Uh, thank you po. May uh, dilubusin ko na po sir yung pagtatanong doon po sa sea service naman. Kasi when I was train, uh, training as an uh, instructor and assessor, parang uh, nasasabi po ng mga instructor ko na kung sakali, kung anong length ng pagtuturo mo sa isang training institution or maritime institution, magiging equivalent siya na sea service. Uh, pwede po pang pakilino yun kung totoo po siya o hindi. Or at saka ano po yung uh, mga kailangan ko pong proof na ipakita para po doon sa, sa additional C service habang nagtuturo? Uh, yes sir. No? If I may recall it, if I may remember it right, pagkakaalam po, ko po uh, during the time na I was in accreditation na kinoconsider namin yung mga equivalency ng pagtuturo, if I'm not mistaken, it's two years 
uh, two years uh, teaching or assessing is equivalent to one year in service. Mm -hmm. uh, we will we will be reminding our colleagues in the uh, exec, uh, in the uh, SCCW to check on the guidelines and procedures para po sa mga cases, especially yung mga nagtuturo nating mga assessors or yung mga professors po. Okay, sir. Thank you po. Uh, tungkol po doon sa mga kasagutan po ng mga inquiries ko, saan ko po kaya siya mababasa or mabivisit online? Kasi po, in-email ko po iyan sa PID. Wala po silang response. Uh, I understand po siguro gawa ng pandemic na wala sila gaanong tao to answer my uh, emails. Kaya po, nag-attend na ako ng, ano, ng webinar na to. Saan ko po kaya silang bababa sa iyo, mga advisory doon sa sagot ng tanong ko? Excuse me, uh, Gali. Yes po. Uh, can we ask some, uh, do you have other other uh, personnel from the certification division? Nandiyan ba sila? Luella? Okay. Or Luella from the certification division to answer the questions? Please? Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you, Gali. Oh, yes, Miss Luella, please. Uh, good afternoon, you. everyone. Uh, Sir Gali, so, I, would like, I would like to answer the questions of Mr. Sir Casanova. Uh, during the 2014 circulars, uh, the equivalencies of the custody service were allowed. Uh, two is to one is the ratio. Pag nagtuturo ka or assessor or instruct or uh, connected ka with any maritime uh, offices is so is one po ang ratio, two years na employment is uh, one year as seagoing service sa equivalent. Inaalaw namin, but with the, the implementation of the 2018 circular, 2018-07 for the engine, and the 2018-06 for the deck, uh, inalis po doon yung mga equivalencies. Kaya yung pinapa-approve sa amin for revalidations are actual seagoing service na po. But I, uh, as I've uh, heard the Mets are already had the the revisions of that circular for I think for deliberation and approval at the office of the city director. Um, ma'am, if I heard it right, <clears throat> ang ina-accept nyo po sa revalidation ay yung actual C service. Okay. Tama po ba? Yes, sir. So okay. kung ipapa-revalidate ko po yung COP ko sa mga tinuturo kong courses sa uh, Maritime Training Center, uh, I will need to have a retraining. Kung baga itinuturo ko na siya, training ko pa siya. Parang nonsense po kasi yun. Oo, oh, oh, sir. Uh, sa ano naman, sir, sa, sa COC mo, doon ka mag-repeat practical. As of now, kung yun ang policy namin ngayon, na wala, mo, wala siyang equivalencies. Pero naman sir, sa COPs nyo po, basta may sakay lang po kayo 12 months with the last five, five years. Immaterial po sir kung ano po yung tinaturo niyong subject. Basta may sakay lang po na 12 months within the last five years, three months within the last six months, ang COP nyo po ay marivalidate. Ang meron pong problema tayo sir, doon sa COC, COE nyo, pag wala, uh, pag wala po kayong actual seagoing service, is repeat practical po sa ngayon ang aming requirement. Ah, okay, ma'am. Thank you po. So, it doesn't matter na tinuturo ko siya sa training center with proof of enrollment reports. Basta tuloy-tuloy yung sampa ko within the oh, within 12 months, uh, sabi niyo continuous yung sakay, may pwedeng marirevalidate na lang yung mga trainings ko lahat. Parang ganun, kapag continuous yung sakay ko. Opo. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you po. We hope po na sagot po namin ng sapat ang mga katanungan ni Sir Belvin. Um, we also took note of the comments earlier. Um, kaya po inihanda rin po ng um, forum team natin later uh, to provide an updated contact details of our contact points para po magkaroon po ng um, several means or avenue ang ating mga stakeholders to Uh, send their queries or feedback to the Maritime Administration. Maraming salamat po sa feedback, Sir Melvin. Now, moving on po, may katanungan po from the Facebook Live and this is addressed to the first presenter or to the Examination and Assessment Divisions po, uh, officers na nandito. 
Ang tanong po galing kay isang Facebook uh, account po itong Oliver Untalan. Ang katanungan po niya, yung mga receipt from old system po, kailangan po ba kumuha ng OIC Part A and Part B? Uulitin ko po yung tanong po niya, yung mga receipt from old system kailangan po ba kumuha ng OIC Part A and Part B? Okay. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Uh, ako po si Madeline Galve, ang current officer in charge of the examination and assessment division. Salamat po sa ating inquiry sa ating Facebook Live. Ngayon po, uh, nabanggit po ni Sir na siya po ay uh, magre-receipt na. So ibig sabihin po, siya po ay nakapag-exam na. Meron lang po siyang kulang o hindi na ipasa ng mga competencies. So yung pong kailangan niyang gawin ay tapusin po ang kanyang receipt. Ngayon po, uh, kung siya ay uh, sinasabi niya po na siya ay nasa old system pa po, ang i-remind po natin na ang ating uh, pag pagtapos o pagkumpleto ng ating examination under the old system ay until November po 2020. Magmumula po yan kasi meron tayong nakala nakalagay sa ating mga circulars na two years expiration. Ang inyo pong OIC updating dahil kayo po ay nasa lumang circular, gaga gaga uh, kukunin nyo na lang po yun bago po kayo mag-apply ng COC. So yung pong application para sa uh, requirement po para sa updating OIC ay kailangan po yun bago kumuha kapag po kayo ay under the new system. Pero si Sir po, since siya ay nasa lumang system po, kakailangan niya pong kunin yon bago po siya mag-apply ng COC. Ang kailangan niya muna pong gawin ngayon ay tapusin at maipasa ang kanyang examination po. Uh, uh, yun lang po. Sana po na na nasagot ko ang katanungan ni Sir. We hope na nasagot po natin yung katanungan po ni Sir um, Oliver Untalan. Another from the Facebook Live po, Um, sent to us by our Public Information Division team. This is addressed to Sir Gali's presentation. Two certification po. BTCOP was expired last June 2020. What are, what are the processes to revalidate? Pwede po bang refresher course na lang ang kunin? Sir Gali? Or Ma'am Luwela po, anybody from the certification division? Luwela, please. Hello. Uh, Sir Herbert, uh, did Sorry, I hear you heard it right? June, June, ano po yung expiration? June 2020. Ang expiry ano, ano? po ng BT certificate ni Sir Eric Leviste ay June 2020 po. Uh, BT po ba yan? Basic training po yung COP niya. Hello, Sir Herbert. Basic training po ba yung COP niya? Basic training po, ma'am. Apa? Oo. Uh, sako po siya, sir, sa grace period namin. Kung hindi pa po siya nakapag-apply at nag-expire na po nung June, is refresher lang po ang na-require namin. Mag-apply lang po siya sa mismo system. Ma'am Luella, ang katanungan po ni Sir Eric Libista, yung BTCOP po niya expired na po nung June 2020. Uh, so, ang tanong po niya, pwede po bang refresher course lang po ang kanyang kunin? Opo, sir. Refresher lang po ang kailangan. Sako po siya dun sa sa grace period no, under number 1 ng 2020-73 na even applied after expiration, is refresher lang po ang required namin. Maraming Maraming salamat po sa clarification, Ma'am Luella. And I hope po na clarify po natin yung inquiry galing kay Sir Eric Libisti po. Um, another question po, galing po ito sa isang vlogger po na madalas po nating kasama um, sa mga ganitong forum. Um, kanya pong ipinadalang question, ito po ay tatlo. Um, may kaugnayan po sa... 
mismo po ito. Ang kanya pong katanungan, not all seafarers are inclined to technology, especially the traditional seafarers. As reported and confessed in his pages daw po that he managed, they prefer to do it by other people like their families, friends, and even third parties. One reason for this is the lack of understanding and comprehension on some seafarers to the technicalities used in the MISMO system. Say, for example, the word issuance and revalidation, which is one of the reasons why applications got rejected. Many are saying that in order for it to be more user-friendly and for non-techy seafarers, they suggest to use simple terms or words with added pop-up tips to better explain its features and functions. So ang tanong po niya sa bandang huli, what else can Marina do in order to simplify the use of MISMO system and make it more friendly to seafarers when using the system? Sir H, may I uh, answer po? Go ahead po, Ma'am Ma Mads. Thank you po. Uh, yes po. Uh, baling ngayon po, uh, do during the pandemic po, gumawa kasi tayo ng study kung ano po yung mga, kagaya ng sa present namin, ano ba yung mga dahilan o kadalasan dahilan kung bakit nare-reject ang mga applications. So kanina, kaya kami, yun, ang focus po ng presentation ng EAD is para po mag-guide at mabigyan ng linaw yung ating mga kliyente, specifically our seafarers po, para paano, ano yung mga tips na pwede po nilang uh, i-consider at para yung mga basic knowledge po na kailangan nilang gawin para po mag-upload ng mga documents sa mismo. Aside from that po, uh, continuous naman po ang ating improvement na ginagawa sa system base dun sa mga nakita natin na feedback Recently rin po, dun sa mga during the pandemic, nakita na natin kasi more on, online po tayo. So continuous po ang ating uh, paggawa at pag-improve ng ating system together with our uh, ICTMD. So salamat po dun sa feedback and make uh, uh, um, ano po na wag po kayong mag-worry dahil we are trying to uh, improve more our system para maging mas uh, uh, tawag dito, user-friendly sa lahat po ng ating mga clients. Yan po. May we also ask po some um, response to from the certification division because of the concern po na ang ginamit po kasi ng seafarer ay na kukonfuse po yata sila dun sa issuance and revalidation. May we request po um, some clarification between the two types of certificates na ini-issue po sa Um, seafarers based on the word issue ones and revalidation. Kung ano po ba yung pagkakaiba? Ma'am Luella? Or Sir Gali po? Uh, hello. Uh, 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 I would like to answer Sir Herbert. Yes, Ma'am Luella, please. Uh, 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 meron ang ginawang pag-uusap sila si Sir Gali with the IT, Sir June, na yung doon sa pag-click nila ng either revalidation or issuance, ibibigyan, lalagyan po ng parang definition. Kung halimbawa isyo, issuance, ilalagay din doon na this is your first time to apply for a COP, then issuance ang kiklik. Pag revalidation, uh, ilalagay din doon na uh, you have to, you're going to renew your COP, you have old COPs, and then i-renew mo para maintindi lang kung ano pwede sabihin ng revalidation. May pag-uusap na po with IT Chief Sir June about Jan. Nasagot ko ba po? Okay po, maraming pong salamat Ma'am Luwela sa inyong pong uh, ibinigay na kasabutan. Ngayon naman po ay meron po tayong katanong nandito po sa ating Zoom sa chat box po natin from Hong TCI Mr. Glenn Blasquez. So ito po ay naka para po sa lahat. Kailan po pwedeng mag-resume ang training ng 6.09 at 3.12? Bawal pa po kasi 
magkondak or di pa maayos ang MOA. Sino kung pwede pong sumagot doon? Anyone po sa ating pong mga personnel dito sa STCW? Ulitin ko po yung tanong, kailan po pwede na mag-resume ang training ng 6.09 at 3.12? Bawal pa daw po kasi mag-conduct or di pa maayos ang MOA. Anyone po? Uh, Sir Gali, can you answer po yung question na yun? Or uh, sa PI? I guess we have to call on sa accreditation division. Yes po, sa accreditation division po natin. Sino pong pwedeng sumagot sa katanungan na yun? We don't have anyone from the accreditation division, but we'll get back to Sir Glenn Blasquez na lang with regards sa kanyang question. For question number one. Apo. And uh, magtanong po tayo sa accreditation natin, accreditation division natin, kung kailan po magre-resume yung conduct po ng 6.09 and 3.1. Okay, maraming po salamat, Ma'am Jobs. Meron po siyang isang pang question. Pusible po bang ma-revise ang policy requirements sa instructors? Dahil most of the instructors at assessors, di na sila sumasakay or mas gusto nilang magturo. Kung i-require po ang C-service, mawawalan po ng work. Ang mga instructors na may skills, magturo pero dahil kulang sa C-service, di na sila pwedeng magturo. Salamat po. So parang ang kanila pong tano, ang kanila pong tano ang i-rephrase mo natin, posible po bang ma-revise ang policy requirement sa instructors? Yun po. Ay majority po ng instructors at assessors natin ay sumasakay or mas gusto nilang magturo. I mean, mag-teach po siguro sa mga maritime schools o parang yung ganun. Anyone po, sino pong pwede natin uh, Sumagot ng katanungan ni Sir Glenn. Uh, sige, ako rin po. Uh, this is a question for the accreditation division also. Uh, but currently po, the revision for the circular for instructor and assessors, nakalign up po siya for this year. And then siguro if finalized na po yung, yung circular na yung revised circular na yun, there will be public consultations naman po and i-invite naman po ang members ng PAMPCI and mga maritime training institutions natin to comment on this revised circular on the accreditation of instructor and assessor. So, invite po, uh, i-invite po sila ng accreditation division natin. Okay, okay marami po salamat, Ma'am Job, sa inyong pong kasagutan at nakakasigurado naman po kami na uh, mabibigyan po ng uh, direct na sagot ang mga tanong na ito sa susunod po natin uh, Anaya po, another usapang STC uh, Yes, Herbert, meron ka pa bang nakikita ang mga tanong dito sa ating FB Live? Yes, ma'am. Um, Jinky, thank you po. We are seeing a raised hand in our Zoom room. We will now call um, from Marino World, ma'am Lynn Bakani. Ma'am Lynn? Yes, uh, good afternoon po ulit. Um, question ko lang regarding sa STCW courses. Meron ho bang mga courses na tayo ngayon na ginagawa online um, yung mandatory STCW, especially yung classroom? At paano minomonitor ngayon yan ng Marina? Yes po. Hello. Herbert. Yes, Ma'am Net. Good afternoon po. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Lynn, for that question. Uh, yes, uh, we, we uh, the, the uh, administrator al already signed an advisory allowing the MTIs to conduct uh, blended learning. So, uh, ano, uh, but uh, for the, 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 the practicum side, uh, with the use of the simulator, na allow namin na uh, it should be conducted uh, on-site face-to-face, uh, -face, but of course, to strictly limit yung uh, uh, students or trainees uh, on board the classroom. So may, may mga ano na, man, na bigyan na tayo ng mga provisional authority 
uh, to uh, training centers to conduct uh, blended learning. Um, tama po, uh, Sir Herbert. Yes, yes ma'am. Go ahead po. Tama, tama po si Ma'am Net. Meron na po tayong advisory na na-approve regarding that. And with regard po sa question as kung paano natin sila na monitor during this pandemic, we have issued Marina Advisory Number 20-2071 Guidelines on the Implementation of Remote Inspection slash Re-inspection re relative to the conduct of course approval of maritime training institutions and other marina authorized training providers and accreditation of assessment center. So maybe we can read this ano rin po, advisory po uh, so that uh, makikita po natin kung paano po yung procedures on how to do the remote inspection po. Okay, thank you po. Mm -hmm. Thank you po, Ma'am Lynn. Ma yes po, uh, another question pwede. Uh, para po sa seafarers natin kasi uh, isang beses na daan ako sa SM Manila no napakahaba po ng pila doon uh, kumusta naman po yung mailing ng mga certificates natin sa mga marino para hindi na sila pumupunta mismo doon sa area kung saan nare-release yung kanilang documents meron na po uli ba tayo ngayon ito thank you for that question ma'am Lynn ma'am Lynn um Makikisuyo po ako, we have here our certification division. I think yun po ang concern. Makikisuyo lang po again to repeat the question and let's direct this question po sa ating mga officers sa certification division po. Yes po. Um, kumusta po yung uh, pag-assist natin sa seafarers na matanggap nila yung mga dokumento nila? Like uh, mailing, uh, para hindi na po sila pumupunta doon sa mga areas ng releasing natin. Like sa SM Manila, minsan nadaan ako doon. Napakahaba po ng pila. Uh, lalo po sa ngayong pandemic, uh, iniiwasan po natin yung mga ganitong kahabang pila. Di ba? Meron na po bang career uh, services na partner din ang Marina? Herbert. Yes, Ma'am Ned. Good afternoon po. Go yes, on. good afternoon again. Uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Lynn, for that question. Actually, that, that's the, the instruction of the administrator uh, to already uh, 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 to already uh, secure uh, uh, a, a career uh, service uh for the delivery uh, to handle the delivery distribution of the certificates of the seafarers uh this is being undertaken now by our uh management and financial service uh office siguro pa ano na lang um it will be uh, as i as i said uh, that this is one of the uh uh, uh directives of the administrator to do uh, as soon as possible of course, to 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 minimize uh, physical uh, interaction with uh, the seafarers and as well as our our personnel also in, in marina, uh, we will do this uh, within the year or uh, hopefully by next month we can already uh, uh, use some uh, courier services on this. Uh, meron lang silang mga administrative uh, procedures na ginagawa. And definitely, uh, will, this will be implemented na. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Net, for sharing to us the um, plan and initiative to make the uh, delivery of STCW certificates to concerned seafarers this year po. Um, thank you din po kay Ma'am Lynn for giving that feedback in behalf of Sir. our concerned seafarers po. Um, Sir, can I have an, uh, a follow-up question? Sorry. Follow-up question na po regarding sa blended learning. Apo, ma'am. Go ahead po. Yes po. Uh, ilang training centers na po na-approve para doon sa blended learning? Well, uh, Ms. Lynn, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, just uh, send a message in the chat box. I, I'll, I'll revert immediately. Uh, we, we have the figures, but I, I cannot remember how many uh, MTIs were already granted with uh, provisional authority, but definitely will revert immediately. I I'll just get the figure. The, the figure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat po, um, Ma'am Net. Salamat din po kay Ma'am Lynn. Um, I, I think um, marami po tayong feedback na nakukuha with concern from the certification division, uh, accreditation division instead. Maybe 
um, sa susunod po natin na mga STCW Forum, yun din po ang aming ihahanda para po makonsentrate muna po yung ating mga katanungan for the presentations po natin ngayon about examination concern and certification concern po. Thank you po dun sa feedback ng Marino World. Uh, maghahanda rin po tayo ng isang STCW Forum uh, concerning naman po sa accreditation concerns. Salamat po. Meron pong follow-up question for the Examination and Assessment Division po um, from Sir Philip Subebe. Ma'am Madeline po siguro ang makaka-provide po ng clarification. Ang sabi po niya, clarification po dun sa Part A and Part B, meaning po kukunin talaga ang Part A and Part B under sa old system. Uh, good afternoon po ulit. Bali po, ang ati, uh, kukunin pa rin po talaga nila yon. Required po yon na kunin nila bago sila ay kumuha ng COC. Kasi po, yung mga, lalo na po kung sila ay graduate ng uh, 2012 and below. Yung po kasi mga topics na nandoon po ay hindi pa po na-cover ng curriculum. Hindi gaya ng mga... Uh, mga graduates natin from 2013 and above. So yun po ang ano, kailangan po nilang kunin yun bago po sila magpa-COC. Thank you for that clarification po, Ma'am Mads. Um, we have another question po. This is um, coming from Sir Cedric Ferrol, a seafarer and a vlogger po. Uh, in general po itong tanong niya both sa Um, certification, uh, certification and for the examination and assessment division po. Ang sabi niya, seafarers think that those outside services of marina are connected with marina because it bears the marina name and logo in their services, which gives seafarers the thought that they can be trusted. During the application of their online appointment, They entrust their document and papers to third-party people, which are not seafarers themselves, for the uploading of the required document. This is one of the reasons why applications got rejected due to wrong submission of documents. Ang tanong po niya, is there any assurance that this issue will be addressed by Marina so, so those outside services will not be the reason for rejection of application. Ang tinutukoy po siguro dito yung mga uploading centers po. Um, Ma'am Mads? Yes po. Ah, okay. Ang, 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 ang ano natin, hindi kasi natin ngayon ma, ma, ma iiwasan po na merong mga ganyan. Kaya ang, ang ano ni Marina is that we... Uh, ato doon at tuturuan natin sila by uh, dito sa mga ginagawa nating usapan SCCW mga infographics na nilalagay natin sa Facebook itong mga meetings na ginagawa natin with the clients kasi it's a way for us to reach out to our clients and show them ito lang siya ganito lang siya ka simple other other than that po tayo ay din uh, uh, taw dito nag, nag nagpa partnership o nag nagtutulungan, nakikipagtulungan sa ibang mga kagaya na nila Sir Seed na mga vloggers po para noon mas ma-reach natin ang ating mga clients. Kasi kung uh, hindi kasi natin uh, ngayon po hindi natin may iwasan na meron mga iba na gustong uh, uh, o oh, gumagamit na bilang marina po. Pero po uh, para po masigurado po ang ating mga kliyente, always lang po kung uh, transact your business with official marina personnel. At lagi nyo pong titignan ang ating Facebook Live o Facebook account ng marina, ang ating official Facebook account. Kasi po, constant po ang ating information division na nagpo-provide ng mga updates at mga infographics po para po makatulong sa ating mga kliyente. So, uh, kung uh, kay sir po na nagtatanong, I would really, really suggest po na... Uh, Tignan natin at mag-update tayo o tumawag po sa mga ibibigay namin ng mga uh, uh, contact points po at mga email address. Kasi po meron naman po tayong mga nakastanbay po parate para mag-assist po kung meron mga tanong sa pag-upload o sa pag-access po ng inyong mga mismo account. 
Maraming salamat po for providing the response, Ms. Madeline Galbe, uh, the OIC of the Examination and Assessment Division. No po. Um, we are nearing the 15-minute call time for the next segment po. Um, may mga katanungan pa po ba tayo sa Zoom Room? And sa PID team po natin, kung meron po tayong nakikita from the FB Live po. While waiting for the questions, maybe we could provide our stakeholders, our seafarers and concerned um, entities, yung mga um, training centers po, mga um, institutions po natin, accredited or recognized institutions to be updated of the contact details of Marina para po uh, katulad ng feedback kanina ni Sir Melvin na medyo nade-delay po yung response. Maybe uh, kailangan po natin mag-provide ng additional avenue for emails or um, new landline or contact number where they could reach the SDCW office. May we request po the PID to um, share to us the updated contact details of Marina. And unahin na po natin yung um, sa examination and assessment division po. Ma'am Mads. Sorry po, hindi ko na-unmute. Uh, okay. So, kanina po, habang nagpipresent ang aking kasama, this is Meet Carlota, uh, nabanggit po niya na meron mga nagsesend sa amin ng email. So, ang contact point po ng EAD, you can contact us at stcwo underscore Ah, medyo po yata. Um, jobs. You can contact po the STCW uh, Examination and Assessment Division via email po sa stcwo underscore ead at marina.gov.ph so kapag po tayo ay uh, meron din po kaming telepono na available po, pwede po natin uh, pwede po tayong tumawag sa anumang katanungan regarding po sa examination and assessment sa numerong uh, 028526 1049. Ngayon po kung um, uh, maaari po sana kung tayo ay magsisend ng email paki uh, lagay po ng mga detalye para po mas madali at mas maayos namin masagot ang inyong mga katanungan. Kasama po sana dito ang buong pangalan at kung ano po ang specific na concern natin at kung ano ang level ng ating inaplayan sa mismo para po agad namin makikita ang inyong account at ma-check po at matulungan kayo kung ano ang inyong uh, queries sa Examination and Assessment Division. Maraming salamat, salamat po, po Ma'am Mads. Thank you po. Um, ngayon naman po sa updated contact details ng Certification Division. Sir Gali? Hello, Sir Herbert. Hindi ko na ready yung ano ko. Can we have PID to uh, ano, provide us? Thank you po. Naka-flash na po siya sa screen. Yes po, siguro po. Uh, ito, uh, ito po nakalagay po sa screen natin para po sa ating mga taga-panood at taga-pakinig. Certification division po ang ating pong pwedeng sulatan o padalang po natin ng email ang stcw underscore cert at marina .gov.ph. Pwede po tayong tumawag sa kanilang pong numbers 0285265175. So kung kayo po may mga concerns relative po sa certification, ito po ang naka-flash po sa ating screen ang pwede po ninyong tawagan at sulatan. O, padala po tayo ng email. Ayan po. Uh, Ma'am Jo, sino po po ang ating uh, pwedeng ipakitang informasyon para po sa mga updated na address, email address, ano pa po ang pwede yan? 
Sa screen po natin, makikita po natin ang ating naman pong public information division. So kung kayo po ay may mga katanungan para po um, sa mabilis ang kasagutan, pwede po tayong sumulat o magpadala po ng ating email sa prd underscore stcw at marina.gov.ph at meron po silang uh, mono numbers 0916-154-812 sa Globe. At kung kayo naman po ay smart, pwede po kayong tumawag sa 0939-303-2884 SMART. Sa SMART po yan para po sa madali ang kasagutan po ng inyong mga tanong. So uh, bukas po ang STCW office para po sa inyong mga concerns. Pwede po niyong itong uh, i-record o kita po uh, madali po silang ma-reach po. Ma'am Jinky, para naman po sa mga kababayan nating Batanggan nyo o mas malapit po sa Batangas kasi alam naman natin na may travel restrictions pa din po sa iba't ibang lugar. Um, ano po ang contact details ng Regional Office for Batangas po? Yes po, para naman po sa inyo po mga concerns sa Marina Region 4, meron po kami na uh, Marina Region 4 FB page, meron po kami doong uh, chat box. Pwede po kayong magtanong, magpadala ng inyong mga inquiries. At the same time, meron po kami email, uh, mro4 at marina.gov.ph. Ang aming telepono ay bukas, 723 Ayan po, 723 uh, Para po sa inyong mga katanungan, pwede po kayong tumawag sa amin. Hindi kayo, hindi nyo alam? And central office. Lahat po ng aming uh, regional offices ay uh, bukas at uh, handang maglingkod sa inyo para po sa inyong mga katanungan. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Jinky. Um, now it is um, time to wrap up this Usapang STCW webinar to give way to our next segment of the National Maritime Week celebration. Po. We acknowledge all the questions, comments, and recommendations you may have in addition to what we have answered now. Um, thank you for helping us, giving us the feedback to improve our systems and procedures so that we may serve you better in the STCW office. For questions we were not able to answer po, katulad ng mga inquiry kanina about the accreditation division, our public information division, together with the Marina Public Assistance Desk or the PADMO team, will make sure that we will collect all uh, of the queries. We'll get back through those later po. And we'll personally send you a response or email you so that um, we may provide you the responses to your concerns po. Before we end the program, may we request po for um, if there are any other messages for our stakeholders po. Is the administrator still around, Herbert? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm here. I'm here. Hi, so. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, good Please. afternoon, po. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, po. Herbert. Ah. Hello. 
We will now hear from the administrator po, sir. Go ahead po. Ah, ganun ba? Ako ba yung itay nyo? Kala ko, tinatanong nila ko, nandito ako. But uh, thank you for uh, SPCW office for coming up with uh, a forum um, uh, engaging our our um, seafarers not only here but around the world. I, I, I've been always saying that my heart goes with you. You are our heroes, kayo yung bagong heroes. And there are programs that we are uh, putting in place for the welfare of our uh, seafarers. One is uh, plano namin. Uh, with Marino Party List is to build up a, a, a 300 to 500 uh, room a barracks, uh, a, a decent barracks for our seafarers when they, they go to Manila and um, complete the requirements that they need in employment like um, medical, DFA, uh, visa, and, and many others. So, pag nagawa na namin yung, ano na yan, yung building na yan, uh, probably will charge you 300 to 500 peso a day and then you will be staying in a room that is air-conditioned. Um, I think this is the only way for us to uh, to bring back and and uh, to the uh, services yung pag-servisyo uh, ng ating mga seafarers sa ating bayan. That's one. The other one is we'll be coming up with a legislative agenda. I hope we can uh, put this in Congress that uh, when our seafarer, seafarers perished at sea or nawawala sila dahil lumubog yung barko o may nagka-problema sila in the line of duty, that the government will uh, provide a, a benefits for their families like a house and lot uh, benefits. Uh, ito kasi yung ginagawa natin sa sundalo ng uh, armed forces. Eh. Uh, pag may namatay sa kanila in the line of duty, binibigyan ng uh, house and lot yung kanilang mga pamilya. Oh. Uh, they also give uh, cash the benefit to our soldiers and that probably we are going to do with our seafarers. Um, sinasabi natin na modern heroes kayo but we are not doing anything uh, about your plight. So ito yung gagawin ng ating Maritime Industry Authority in collaboration with Marino. And the other thing is uh, uh, we will be coming up with a foundation uh, again. Um, this is for your children loved ones, na if something happens to you at sea, then um, we can give um, a scholarship to, our child, to your children and give them a stipend or uh, a pocket money while they're studying uh, for their future. So, um, lahat na to, in addition to um, improving the systems to speed up our services to the seafarers, like um, online services, um, ginagawa na natin yung uh, in, in the near future, probably next month, um, we'll have an online payment of your uh, uh, statutory certificates and then um, we will be sending your uh, certificates straight to your home through a four-year service. So ito yung aming gagawin. Hindi lang namin sinasabi ito, but we are in the process of doing it because we care for you. That's the message that we want to do. And that's uh, what we are going to do in the next. Uh, I hope we can do this, all of this, before the uh, iba yung siguro uh, yung uh, construction will be in the future. But yung speeding up of your um, application for statutory certificates ay magagawa natin within uh, within the year or within next month uh, as the the fastest available. So yun yung amin gagawin. Uh, our uh, salute. To all the seafarers uh, at sea, those who are still uh, stranded, uh, extended uh, contract, we are doing our best to send you home as quick as possible uh, through the opening of hubs for crew change. Um, and, and this will be a normal, uh, I hope we'll be, we'll be efficient in doing this. So uh, stay back, um, continue to serve your country. We will, all, we will serve you and we will always pray for you as well as your families. So that's my message to you. And um, I'd like to congratulate again SPCW for coming up with this uh, very productive uh, forum with our seafarers, our modern heroes. I salute you all. Thank you. And good afternoon to everyone. Sir H, nakamute po kayo. 
Maraming salamat po, Vice Admiral Robert M. Pedrad, our Mar Marina Administrator po. Um, Ma'am Ma Ned? Yes, sir. Bert. May um, closing uh, message. Uh, the, the, the administrator already delivered his uh, a statement. So that would be all. Thank you. Thank you all. With that po, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga dumalo sa ating usapang STCW. Thank you for the um, participation of our maritime higher education institutions. Uh, also, our regional directors po, mismong mga regional directors po ang nakikita ko. Some of our officers in the Mar Marina Regional Offices, um, individual seafarers, um, fra friends from the news outfits po. Um, thank you. Um, thank you for supporting the events of the National Maritime Week. Once again, I am Herbert, your public uh, servant in the STCW office. Thank you for watching this virtual STCW. Ma'am Jinky? Yes po, at sa ating pong maging na mga naging tagapakinig at tagapanood po dito sa ating uh, FB Live at sa ating pong uh, Zoom. Maraming maraming pong salamat po sa inyo po rin mga comments. Umasa po kayo na patuloy pong magsisipin at maglilingkod ang marina sa inyo pong lahat. Lalo-lalo na po sa ating mga seafarers. Okay. So ito po si Dr. J.P. Mendoza ng Marina Region 4. Maraming pong salamat sa, sa inyo. Herbert? Maraming salamat po. Happy National Maritime Week. Take care and keep safe always. Congratulations, STCW. Maraming salamat po. Thank you po, Ma'am Lisa. We invite you po to watch the Maritime Hello. Appreciation Ceremony. Sunod po na program natin is Maritime Appreciation Ceremony po. Please don't let me down I want to see your gown It will be a memory As the salty water flows along
at night.